All right, Bug Group team, I'm here with my good friend John, our subject matter expert on the next task that we're here to talk to you about today, and that is pulling trash. Pulling trash is one of the simplest things that we do, but it's also one of the things that causes the most injuries at the Bug Group. So John's going to talk us through how to do that safe. So it looks like we got a trash can right here. So we're going to pull it out. and. Uh, John, if you would walk us through, uh, what's the first thing we're going to do when we get ready to pull some trash? Well, the first thing we do when we're pulling trash, we, we put our gloves on so we don't, so we don't uh, get anything on our hands. That's right. You never know what might end up being in there. Maybe some gum or, you know, anything that may cause us to, you know, hurt ourselves. That's right. We don't want to have. Good deal. So what next? So the next thing we do and pulling trash. I take the take the trash trash can out. So let me ask you, this one doesn't look like there's too much in there, which is a good thing, but if it were piled up way high or it were up somewhere near the top, could we just use our hands and shove no, it down in we there? Don't, we don't use our hands to shove it down in there because it may be an object down in there that, that may puncture our hands so you know we uh we just take the trash if it was full we just take the trash and we tie the bag we tie the bag first so we don't spill any trash out tie the bag and we pull safely very nice. With our knees, and then we turn and place the trash in the trash barrel. That's awesome. John just did um, a great job demonstrating the proper way to pull this out. A lot of times what our folks will do, especially at the end of the shift when they're getting tired, is they'll reach in, bend it at their hips, and yank it out. And as you all know, sometimes that bag can get stuck in there, and we start pulling with our lower back. It can cause us to pull out our low, lower back. And then the next thing that you notice he did is once he picked it up using his legs, instead of twisting and dropping it somewhere, he spun his body to face a trash can and dropped it in. This is extremely important when we're talking about being around a dumpster. So a lot of times we'll lift that up out of the barrel and we got the dumpster behind us and we'll do a twisting motion to throw it or get rid of it. And that twisting motion puts a lot of strain on our lower back. So we wanna lift with our legs, turn to face where we're going to get rid of it, and then drop it off. All right, so we've got the trash out. We've got it in the brute barrel. What's next? The next thing we do, we take our trash bag, tear our trash bag. We open our trash bag. Make sure it's fully open. put our trash bag in and what I like to do is uh, make sure it's secure on both sides and I tie it and make sure it's tight around the rims so the trash doesn't seep out in, in the trash. That's right, keeping those edges tight is going to keep that liquid or anything else from pulling the trash bag down into the trash can. And I like to be a little neat about it, so I tuck it in. That's right, just like you would your bed at home, that's right. All right, so then we're gonna load this thing back up. Load Very back good. Up. And we would proceed to do that around the rest of the building. So what happens now if we're putting all of our trash can bags in here, what happens now when this thing gets kind of full? Well, when it gets kind of full, Make sure you take the bag. You want to make sure you tie it. Always tie the bag because you don't want any liquids to seep out. Very good. And you take the trash barrel. Take the trash barrel to the to the trash. Yeah, so you got tilt cart there, and we're going to offload it in a tilt cart. Very good. So if you'll notice, one of the things that John said was when it gets kind of full. 
So this is really important. Again, when we get working too fast, too hard, sometimes uh, we let that thing get too full and get too heavy. So it's important that when this brute barrel gets about two thirds of the way full, we want to make sure we go ahead and tie that off and get it moved into the trash can. At some of our accounts, we have tilt carts to put it in, and at other accounts, we're going to be rolling the brute can straight to the dumpster. All right, well, John, I appreciate all those tips and tricks, and uh, yeah. hopefully we'll see you again soon. Yes, we will. Thank you. Trash removal safety tips. Always wear gloves when you're pulling trash. If the trash can is full, don't push down on it. This way we avoid touching anything dangerous. Then tie the bag before you remove it from the container. Lift the bag using your legs and your arms. This way we avoid straining your back. When you're placing the bag into a larger trash can, turn your body with the trash so you are facing the new container before you drop it. Do not twist your back. Then repeat these steps with the body positions when you're moving the trash to any larger containers. Place a new trash bag in the empty containers and tie the loose ends so that the bag is tight to the rim of the container.